Hey guys, um, I am here on a new ship, the USS Seti Saber Class, um, NCC seven nine six two four. If you don't remember the Saber Class, it's a weird triangular thing with the cells on the sides. It's coming along. Let me change the view distance. Before I begin the tour, um, if you guys stick around to the end, um, I will have a little fun little announcement involving this server. So, uh, stick around. Unless I forget to say it. Alright. <sighs> this is take five, by the way. Here is the. Uh, I don't even know what that is. It's on the model, so I put it on there. Here's an RCS node right here. Nice little spot for one. I did some bridge node detailing the, the other day, like yesterday, I think, with some coolant pipes up here. This is not final. This will have some more detailing in it. Another coolant pipe more coolant pipes. Now these, I don't know what those are. Some kind of coolant thing. At least that's what they are in a Defiant, which has something just like this. And the Mjolnir droid ship has something just like this too. Gotta figure out what they are. Because I have no idea. Here's a warp core. It might be horizontal. I don't know. This is the main torpedo launcher with a Turner airlock. It will be a big. There will be a big divide in the middle of the shell bay where the launcher will be with storage down here for torpedoes. And the shuttle bay. If I haven't already shown you that. Fun pack, this phaser array is exactly the same size as this one. Which is really helpful actually. Glad they did that. I'm not done the deflector yet, I gotta figure out how to do it. It's kind of a confusing deflector. More cooling pipes down here. There's a lot of cooling pipes on this thing. That kind of drives me nuts. It's a really sudden curve. Oh well. This ship has a very weird cross section. Yeah, it's weird. All right, let's head to the corridors because those are cool. I'm kind of proud of them actually. First, I'll show you what they're based on. They are based on the Ross, which is actually what the textures were made for. This is HD Legit ship. Legit. Legit. I don't know. These are the blocks I used, but I use a color scheme to completely differ from everything else. Alright, the corridors are right here. The main working design is right here. The blue. With, and also, this is one of the 20th, the post nemesis consoles I gave Pan to put in. We have a meme section. I, I gave Pan most of these cord these blocks right here. Here's all the post nem ones. Here I'll show you real quick. I don't show you all of them though. Just a few of my favorites. Yeah, amazing what you can find online.
Alright, and I also have the red one, which I think looks stellar. I'm loving this red. I might change it. I have no idea, though. But the blue looks much more minimalist. It's, they, I want them to look utilitarian, but this one looks more warlike. It's not very welcoming, but the saber is a scout ship, so... I don't know. Tell me which one you like in the comments. Oh yeah, fun fact, these are draft doors. They're modded. Okay, let's go to the bridge. As I know you guys are itching to see that. I'm sure you can probably tell from below. <sighs> okay, let's go. Here's the bridge. Very compact. Yep, yeah, not very big. I mean, it's not very big at all. Here is a custom made front console. This is similar to the Essex class I made a couple years ago. Console wise, it had a console that flowed all the way back to the captain's chair. And it had the big a horseshoe that goes around with consoles right here, right here on the horseshoe. Yeah, it's very similar to that design. Here's a generic station, another generic station. Um, I don't know where the first officer would sit, maybe here. And a science officer, maybe right here. Tactical would be controlled. I don't know. I haven't figured out all the fish stations. These are some like diagnostic and systems control panels right here on either side. Just some quick access system information, that kind of thing. Here's the MSD. I might put a tactical console right here. Here's the ready room with the JJ box. These lighted slabs. Oh yeah, I gotta pick out a use for these. These are cool. I like these. They kind of remind me of sponge for some reason. Definitely gonna have to find a use for these. Definitely. These are great. They even have stairs and slabs. Okay, let's go back outside. I think that's everything. Yeah. Oh yeah, there's the RCS. That needs to be detailed a little bit more though. Alright. I will catch you guys later. Oh yeah. Um, so for those of you that stick stuck around till the end, I will be... Oh shit. Sorry. There are other... I gotta swear every once in a while so I can keep the... So I can have my comment section. Just gotta do it. Okay, I got a couple more variations color-wise. I'm really feeling this. I really am. I got purple. Just solid purple. And this is kind of gross. I don't like it. Can't get out. We got... Like green? Oh, I love this one. I just love green. But not for this ship, no. Maybe for another one. We need more green ships. I think the Lumi B had a lot of green in it, at least in the bridge. Here's some um, that red color, but this is a a different red. Yeah, this is a different red. This is JJ red. JJ red. For the floor and the bridge. And here's the current working version. 
Yeah, lots to choose from. Tell me which one you guys like in the comments. We got purple, violet, green, red, and blue. There's also these versions of corridors. This one I do kind of like, but it's too luxurious. Anyway, anyways, um, as I was saying, if you stuck around till the end of the video, good for you because I'm gonna be posting the the Trekcraft website in the description. If you've been watching Troy's videos, you probably already know about it, but if you haven't. Um, there is a Discord link in there, I do believe. So, you can join our Discord. So, and I'm McMuffin on there. If you guys want to chat, I don't bite. Joy's in there. And a couple other cool people. Fortunate Creeper's in there. Gonna have to deal with that. Sorry. I just messed with these creepers, sorry. Okay. Here's an impulse engines if you didn't see already. Well, I got stuff to do today, so I'm gonna end this video right here. Here's an emblem Troy made for me. Pretty cool. I think I already showed you guys that though. <sighs> Okie dokie. Ciao.